the irrationality of doing your makeup for a video and then not bothering to do your hair. Today's video might actually make a few waves and it's not really my intention to pin two peoples up against each other and watching them duke it out. However, I am convinced that's what's going to happen in the comments. So I might as well take full responsibility for it when I say that today's video is going to be a comparison between Norway and Denmark. I would like to start this video off by saying that yes, I am Norwegian. However, I have lived three years here in Copenhagen and I feel like I've really, really gotten to know the Danish people and the country. However, I'm sure you're going to pick me apart in the comments anyway, so I'm just going to stop there. First of all, let's start with taxes. Now I'm pretty sure every Danish person would tell you that their taxes are ridiculously high. I mean, you pay a minimum, minimum of 36% income tax, which is a lot of money to begin with. And then most people actually pay more than that because they pay other taxes as well as their income tax. Uh, personally, I pay about 46%. In Norway, taxes are rather high as well. They are, however, nowhere near as ridiculous as Denmark's nearly 50% tax. I would say that usually around 30 to 36% tax in Norway. It depends on who you are and how much money you make. When it comes to food, there are a lot of really similar things. Norwegian food has a lot of potatoes and fish, and so does Danish food, except it's done a little bit differently. Personally, I would say the Norwegians are a really big fan of gravy. However, the Danes have all the sauces that they use. Ketchup, French fry sauce, mayonnaise, remoulade, which I don't really know what the name is for in any other country. It's a sort of tartar sauce with flavoured curry something. So I would say food is pretty much similar Norway and Denmark with a few exceptions. The same really goes for the people in Norway and Denmark. They are very uniquely separated by daytime and nighttime. They are very different people when it comes to drinking and when it comes to being your actual normal self. Uh, the drinking culture in Norway and Denmark is a little bit different. I mean in Norway it's much more binge drinking based. However in Denmark Having a beer is not such a big deal, and some people even do it at lunchtime. When it comes to geography, Norway and Denmark can be more opposite. I mean, you have Norway hilly, mountainy landscapes with massive stone-based land, and then you have Denmark sand and... I don't want to say swamplands, because that sounds really insulting, but that is basically what it is. Basically, if you've got a big enough watershed, Denmark would disappear. Also, Denmark has no mountains. It is a flat as a pancake, which means there's a lot more wind in Denmark than there ever is in Norway. When it comes to wages, they are slightly higher in Norway. That is, of course, because the cost of living is a little bit higher. And in Denmark, they are slightly lower because the cost of living is a little bit lower and also because of the taxes. And finally, I would like to round off this comparison by using something that is often used to measure prosperity and income in countries, which is how many Big Macs can you buy in this country for $50? Now, it seems the price of Big Macs is slightly higher in Norway, where you can get seven Big Macs for $50, whereas in Denmark, you can get nine Big Macs for $50. All in all, Norway and Denmark are not that different. There are small cultural differences that you will notice if you've lived both places, just like I have. Of course, there's a massive difference in the language if you want to take take up one of either language, I would definitely recommend Norwegian. It is easier to pronounce. And just to prove that I am not a big fat liar, Hi, I have in Ingeborg, I live in Copenhagen, I have lived here the last three years, and I feel so good. It looks like it's super good. Also, of course, I have been in Norway, so I talk so naturally flytende Norsk also. Now, if you've noticed any significant differences between Norway and Denmark, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys think is the biggest difference between the Scandinavian countries. Because we're quite similar in base, but there seems to be a lot of tiny little things that us Scandinavians don't really recognise, and that tourists from the outside see much better than us. If you have a Twitter, Instagram or Tumblr account and you would like to follow me, feel free to do that as well. The links are in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you really liked it, you can always check out my channel for other Norway and Denmark videos. I will see you soon. Bye!